Hi, have you ever wondered why when you make a diagram and fill it with colors, it looks so lifeless? Whereas when the same thing is done by designers, it looks so beautiful and the colors pop. They have a few tricks up their sleeve, which is not normally shared with everyone. Today, I'm going to unveil those secrets that make your colors pop. I'm Ram Gopal from presentationprocess.com, the creator of Ram Gopal's PowerPoint Mastery Program, an easy to follow, comprehensive and creative PowerPoint training program for professionals. The link is in the description box below the video. Let us start with this ho-hum looking slide and let us try to improve this slide design step by step. Let me take a duplicate of this slide. I am going to remove all these text elements for now. So we can start with just the shape for now. This is a shape that everybody has seen. The trick is to make it look a little different from the usual, so it pops out. Now I'm going to make these shapes look a little different by cutting them into pieces. Let us go to Auto Shapes Gallery. I'm going to use this one called as Parallelogram to cut them to shape. Let me draw a parallelogram like so. So this is what I'm going to use as the shape to cut. Now I'm going to select this and press Ctrl C and that takes the shape into the clipboard of the computer. Now I'm going to select this shape here first and then hold the shift button down and select this shape and then go to merge shapes and use shape fragment. Now the shape is divided into two pieces. All right. Now I don't want this. So let me delete this. Now I recall whatever is there in the clipboard by pressing Ctrl V. Now let us select this and then select this and do exactly the same thing of fragmenting. Let us delete this and then call whatever is there in the clipboard. Select this, this, merge shapes and say fragment, delete this and get whatever is there in the clipboard. Now we have divided this into two pieces. Now I'm going to cut this even further. I am going to move this out a little bit. So we will have just this much space. Now this is going to be the number placeholder and this is going to be the text placeholder. So that is how I'm going to design this. Now let me select the shape again and press Ctrl C. Now the new location of the shape along with the shape is now stored in the clipboard. Now let us select this, which is the second piece here and then select this and go to subtract. Recall the shape and its location and do the exact same thing and this and subtract. Now this is very different from this usual shape and therefore would make the audience want to know what you've got here. Next, I'm going to move these elements a little further up and to the side like so. Now what I've done is I've created two layers here. Now at the face of it, it might not look like there are two layers. I'm going to make sure that it is noted as two layers by using a few tricks. First of all, we don't really want any of these to have any outline. So I am removing this and just by removing the outline, you can see that the look is far better. Now the next thing I'm going to do is to replace these usual colors that are normally seen here in the shape fill option and use something which is far more professional. I went to Google and searched for energetic color palette and saw what are the various options I have here. If you like any of the color palettes, then you can go into each of these sites and then download the color palette. Or if you are short of time, then you do what I do. You use Windows Shift S shortcut and that allows you to cut a small portion of your screen or to snip out a small portion of your screen. So I'm going to click and drag and select this piece here. And then let me go back to my slide and I'm going to paste this over here and I'm going to use this color palette. How do I use this? Very simple. Let me select this, hold the shift button down and select this. Then right click, go to format object, go to fill. And here you have the color for the fill. Let me click here, go to eyedropper and use the eyedropper tool to select this color called dark purple. Then let us select this and this. Do the exact same thing, go to eyedropper and use the next color and then do this. Go here, eyedropper and use the next color and you don't really require this anymore and delete it. Now can you see this is way different from any of the normal colors that are used and therefore your audience have something different to look at on your slide. 
Now still the colors are not popping out that much. I'm going to use a trick. Let me right click and duplicate this slide so you can clearly see the difference between the before and after scenario. Now select this, hold the shift button down and select this. Go to shape fill. You cannot go here. You have to go to shape fill. Go to gradient and use one of these dark variations. And this is the one that we want called linear right. Can you immediately see a difference in the way the color has popped out? Now look at this. Let me select this. Go to shape fill. Go to gradient and use linear right. For this color, a darker color to a lighter color tone is already created based on the preset. Let me do the same thing for this. Go here and do the exact same thing. Now let me show you this is our new version and this one is the dull version. Can you see? Just by doing one simple operation, we have been able to make something that looks so dull to look a little more beautiful. Now, I'm going to accentuate this even further. How? Let me select these elements, make a copy of this by pressing Ctrl D to create a duplicate. I want this shape and that is the reason why I've selected them. I'm just going to merge this so it is just one piece. Now, I don't really want this big shape, so I'm going to go to shape fill and then choose a dark color. Now, this is way too big. We want only a sliver of this. So let me make a copy of this by pressing Ctrl D and let us give it a different color so you can see what I'm cutting. Now, I only want just this much. So let me select this, hold the shift button down and select this shape and then go to merge shapes and say shape subtract. Now, this is what we want and this is going to serve as a shadow here. Now, in itself, it doesn't really look very authentic. So we need to go to the effects option, go to soft edges and add a soft edge like this, which is five point soft edge. Now that looks good. I'm going to place this over here. And now you can see that this is very clearly differentiated from the next layer. And that is the beauty of this. This looks really neat. Now let us use the text. Let us go here and I'm going to use these text elements. And let me show you the trick that is used there as well. Let me place these elements here. This is number one and I'm going to place it somewhere over here. I'm making sure that it is somewhere right in the center and I am aligning this closer to this edge here. Let me make a duplicate of this. So you can see the difference between what I'm going to do now and later. Let us select these number placeholders. I'm going to use a different font than the default Calibri. Let me go here and let me see what kind of options are available. I can choose this one called as Amasis MT Pro Black and then choose a contrasting color like white and already you can see that these numbers look far better than Calibri. Now let me select these text elements and choose a different font. I'm going to use some light kind of a font I can use Amasis MT Pro Light and now I'm going to choose a contrasting color. Now can you see this looks way better. This is the Calibri version and this is the professional font version and you can see the difference already. Now let me do one more thing that makes this even more interesting. Let me duplicate this slide and just as we did earlier we are going to take a copy of this by pressing Ctrl D. Of course, you can always retain that parallelogram so you can always cut it the way you want. I'm just going by the lazy route of using these and then combining them each time and then making all the adjustments. Whichever way you want to do it, you can do. So this is just nothing but a copy of this piece here. Go to shape fill and then use white colored fill and then place it right over here and then add transparency. Now, when you add transparency, can you see? that it has that sheen on it and that makes it pop up even more. Let me move this slightly closer to the edge. Now see the difference between this and this. Can you see this one being more shiny and a lot more popping out than this one? That is the difference. So we took something as dull and boring as this, used better colors, added relevant gradients, Replace the fonts with something more professional, added a shadow, and then we also added the sheen. And you can see that this is way better than this. And that is what designers do. They take some time to build the design. 
even small things let us say i want to separate this title from the body content then i can use a simple line and then draw it till here and then use the same purple color and you can see it makes a difference let us go to slideshow and this is the final look and feel maybe i can move all this and uh, move it to the center and group it so it really is neater now let us go to slideshow see this and see the way it was before and you can see how by using some simple tricks we can make our slides pop if you want to learn such street smart tricks in powerpoint which you normally don't find anywhere else be it in books or in courses then you can join our ram gopal's powerpoint mastery program click on the link below and know more about this program and if you think it is the right one for you you can always join it'll be worth it and if you're interested in improving your design i made this video a while back called how to choose the right fonts for your professional presentation I will leave a link to this interesting video right here on your screen. You can click on the link and watch that video next. And if you want to join our 25 creative PowerPoint ideas free 5 day email mini training, you can click on the link here. You will get 25 useful PowerPoint ideas that you can use in your next business presentation and I have not shared any of those ideas anywhere else. So go ahead, click on the link and join the course and I'll see you inside.